Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and move on to two more notes here. We're going to learn the notes. We've already learned. We've already learned the notes B, A, and G. We're going to add two more to that. We're going to learn the notes E, which is on the first line. So you can see that we're skipping a note here. We know that there is a note here, and this would be an F. But we're going to skip it for right now, and we're going to go ahead and go down to this this note on the first line, the note E, as in, every good boy does fine. And what we learned earlier is that to make the instrument go lower, you have to lengthen the tube by covering up the holes. So now we're going to get to finally use our right hand. For all of us people who are right-handed, this is like a glorious day. So we're going to use two fingers from our right hand. We're going to keep what we had for the G note. Thumb, pointer, middle finger, ring finger, and we're going to add two more fingers, making sure that we're not skipping any holes here. You can't add them to the bottom of the instrument. That's not going to quite lengthen anything. So you have to add them to the next two holes, and that's going to give us this low note E. We also talked about the lower you go in the recorder, the slower the air has to go. So here's a low note E. Remember, if you're getting squeaks, it's more than likely because you're blowing too fast. So slow that air down. And make sure you're getting those holes covered with the pads of your finger. Low E. Two. I'll go first. Alright, that was good. Alright, let's go for another one. Two. Here I go. Alright, here's another one. Two. Here we go. Alright, so hopefully you're getting that low E. Remember if you're getting squeaks, it's probably blowing too fast. So slow that air down or maybe you just don't have that hole quite covered up. So just keep checking it. Keep trying it out. Um, if you keep trying, you'll get results. If you quit, then of course you won't ever get it. So I just encourage you to keep trying. It doesn't always happen right the first time. In fact, most of the time it doesn't happen right the first time. So now we got our notes B, A, G, and E. A very common mistake that some people will get when they're not getting right notes, especially being a beginner, is they'll do something like this. B, A, G, E. So it's not going to work unless you have all those other holes covered up as well. So remember to, to keep it that way. Um, the only way we can make that thing go lower is to lengthen the tube. And if you're not covering the holes above, those fingers, then uh, it's not getting any longer. So, there we go. So there's E. Let's move on to one more note. We're going to come on down one more note off of the staff. This is a space below the staff and we're on the note D. Because we're going backwards in the alphabet, uh, we're going down the staff, we're going backwards in the alphabet. So the note before E would be a D. So there we are. We know the lower we go, the slower that air's got to go. I know you're probably getting tired of me saying the same thing. Sometimes I get tired of saying it. So here we got E. We're going to add our ring finger of our right hand. So the only thing that we're not using are our pinkies. So this one is, uh, our, I like to use the imagery of we're having T with D queen. <laughs> so I know that's a corny joke, but whatever. It's what you get. So low D. Slow that air down. Make sure you're getting your holes covered. Make sure that you're using a T. That'll give you nice, uh, nice crisp notes. Notes that are in tune. So here it is, low D. Okay, good. Try another one. Two. I go first. Okay, one more, two, here I go. All right, fantastic. So now we got B, A, G, E, and low D. So we got five notes here that we've learned. These five notes make up what we call the pentatonic scale. The pentatonic scale. Penta, five, tonic, tones, 
five tone scale or five note scale one two three four five when you put these notes together uh, it's very fun to improvise or to make up music as you go using these five notes and most of the time students will say that sounds like Native American flute or it sounds like it's from Asia and that's because Native American flute and Asian music uses pentatonic scale very often we think of those those cultures we think of pentatonic music so here they are B A G E and D I'll just go through them B A G E D and they sound like this so you got some really nice notes there to work with on our palette of notes and these are great just to play around with and get get them under our fingers oftentimes I just pick up my recorder and I'll play in a pentatonic scale like this and uh, people will think you've played for years when you've only just been playing for minutes maybe so this is what maybe it would sound like so very simple those notes always sound nice together in that pentatonic scale so I'm gonna let you uh, practice those notes and I'll be back with you